TPC, Ford Smoking Pipes here. It's Easter Sunday. I got a uh, few hiking videos I still haven't got to. I combined all the parts. But I thought I'd jump on here and share a pipe with you and let you know that I'm doing all right. We uh, took a short trip today and delivered some rabbits. Social distancing involved. Wear your gloves, set down the cages, let them put them in their cages, pick up the cages, that type of thing. Strange world we're living in right now. Actually had three days off. Done quite a bit of gardening stuff. You can see behind me back there are the rock walls I built. Expanding the garden. Got uh, some apricot trees to give to me. I got them planted. And this little seedlings right now, about that tall. Be a year or two before they do anything. Put them down in the orchard area near the old peach tree. Had three peach trees. One of them died last year. Got so many peaches on it, it broke it. Old pear tree come out, it bloomed. I don't know if the frost got them or if they got done before that or. I was thinking it probably didn't frost. Oh well, it's just no cooking pears. It's not good for eating straight off the tree. You always got to cook them. They're hard pears. It's told it's a German pear tree. I don't know. I see a lot of them around, so I figure it's a wild pear tree. Got the little Missouri Mearsham hardwood out today. Join a little half and half in a little uh, OTC. I enjoy half and half once in a while. Like Carter Hall a lot. Notice since I changed my diet that my pH level changed. So I'm not as prone to the tongue bite anymore. That's a positive thing. Got the old grill going in the background. Got some black bean burgers on it. Pretty good stuff. Well, Got some uh, flowers, vine and flowers they gave us. I'm trying to think of what they're called. They bloom, they look like grapevine and they're purple. Wisteria, I think. Tell they sure smell good though when they bloom. Neighbors got them, the whole tree line just kind of covered them. They don't kill the tree. I had a few trees, I didn't mind them wrapping around. 
It smells worth it. Go back to work tomorrow. We're part of the the essential group. Boxes are needed to keep the shipments moving. Down here in Arkansas, we, we've had a few pass away from this COVID-19. I say a few, probably 100 or so. Never a good thing, but it's a lot less than other places. Looking at the national map about that, and it, especially on the Arkansas map, you look at all the major airports. That's where most of the cases are, is right around the airport. was brought to us by people flying in and out. That's just my two cents. What do I know? <laughs> no, it sure got some people up in the area, though. Get everybody on edge. Well, I still live 16 miles south of nowhere. Old Ford was practicing social distancing before it was cool. Not that I'm not a social person, mind you. After all, I'm having a pike with you. Bought a new backpack the other day. You know, reduced price. An American company, of course. Kind of funny about that American company, but my backpack's on a slow boat from China. With everything going on, it's an extra slow boat. Of course, they didn't tell me that part until after I paid for it. I wouldn't have bought it. Ain't got nothing against the products coming from there. But had I known that it had to leave there and come here per order, I wouldn't have bought it. If it had been in a warehouse here, then I'd have bought it. Oh, well, what can you do? That's pretty good stuff. You know, when I first tried half and half, I didn't like it. Well, I say that. I kind of liked it, but it had a different, I had an odd taste to it. And it bit me a lot. So I didn't ever try it again. 
after the lap pouch. So I noticed that uh, Autumn Evening from C and D didn't bite at me anymore, and that got my uh, interest peaked. So I picked up a couple, half and half being one of them, that used to bite at me to try again because I was interested in the flavor and wasn't interested in the other. And what do you know? They weren't biting at me either. I still get dry tongue once in a while, but it ain't that harsh stinging or whatever. So the journey continues. I've got to go back, revisit several flavors that, for whatever reason, I didn't care for. To see, you know, there were some things I liked about them and other things I didn't. So I'll reassess them and try them again. Well, I was about halfway through this one whenever uh, I fired that camera up. I'm all the way through it now, it looks like. YTPC, y'all be safe out there. Keep your head down. We'll get through all this. Oh, Ford sign out.